Yo, I'm not trying to steal anyone's faith or anything like that. But what I need you to do, if you're going to believe these things, you need to believe them correctly. And not because some kid makes a video or you hear, see a video where there's some demonic like sounds coming underneath a bed of rock to which you have not identified where that bed of rock is coming from. But he said, I can't deny 6,000 6, year old end time prophecy. First of all, those the revelation wasn't written 6,000 years ago. It was written more like 1,800 years ago. So that's a big difference. And he said that the Euphrates River is almost drying up and the four angels chained up under it will come out and kill one third of the population of man. Uh, there's even a video of the recording of the screaming. See, this is where you guys have to be careful if you're going to believe these things. Because if you're going to believe this, then you have to have it right and correct. You're taking two different things and combining them together to make one thing. You see, in Revelations 9, it talks about, as a matter of fact, it's Revelation 9, 14. It says that the angel who will blow the sixth trumpet will go and release the four angels bound at the Euphrates River. It doesn't say anything about drying up the Euphrates River. He will blow the trumpets. They will release them at the Euphrates River. The Euphrates River... Um, to, to be at something is different than to be underneath something. So I can be at Main Street or I can be underneath Main Street. I can be at a parking garage or underneath a parking garage. I cannot be both. So when he says at in chapter in Revelation 9, it's different. Now, this is the angel blowing the trumpets. You get to 16. Now, before you even get to 16, you got to go through the 144,000 being sealed. You got to go through um, the three witnesses, you got to go through the right, the scrolls, I mean the two witnesses, uh, the woman as the dragon, the beast out of the sea, uh, you got to go through the seven angels with seven plagues, and then you get to the seven angels with seven bowls. There's a lot of things, a lot of things happen in between, if you're going to believe this, and then it's Revelation 16, where it talks about that the sixth angel will pour, pour out his bowl, and then Euphrates River will dry up and it will be as a riverbed, a roadway for the three kings to be able to proceed down it. And from their mouths, you have uh, three frog-like demonic spirits that will come out of their mouths. So it has nothing to do in 16 with the drying of the Euphrates with the four angels bound at the Euphrates River. So if you're gonna claim these prophecy, prophecies, claim them correctly and don't let sensationalized videos like the sound that the guy's making that you can't val verify or this young guy who makes these claims all types of times anyway so